Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak, today chaired the weekly cabinet session. The cabinet commended the honouring of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of government agencies, which achieved distinction in the Tawasul communication system. The Cabinet congratulated the ministries and authorities honoured, affirming that this initiative is an incentive to excel in performance and provide the best services, which reflects the government's interest in developing the performance of its agencies in serving citizens. The Cabinet expressed relief with the decrease in daily COVID-19 cases percentage, which reached 45% during the last four weeks, adding that this reflects the community's commitment and awareness of its social responsibility. The Cabinet also commended the immense efforts of the medical cadres. On the occasion of the United Nations Day, the Cabinet hailed the UN's role in bolstering international peace and security and its initiatives in the field of human development. The Cabinet affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on supporting the noble efforts of the UN and cooperating with its agencies and authorities in achieving its humanitarian goals. Following the remote meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser made the following remarks. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has expressed confidence that the Royal Guard team would be able to climb Mount Everest after they successfully scaled at Mount Manasul, the eighth highest mountain in the world, at 8,163 metres above sea level. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that reaching the Man Manaslu summit has boosted the team's aptitudes to scale Mount Everest in 2021 and raise the Bahraini flag at the summit. His Highness expressed keenness and providing full support to the men of the Royal Guard who possess high capabilities that enable them to overcome several challenges to reach the Manaslu summit. The Royal Guard team completed a special training in the Himalayas with the ultimate goal of reaching the summit of Mount Everest in 2021. The 18-member Royal Guard team was assigned by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to raise the flags of Bahrain and of the Royal Guard on the summit of Mount Manaslu, one of only 14 mountains in the world to exceed 8,000 metres. The Royal Guard spent eight days acclimatising and climbing to the summit of Mount Manaslu, where they were able to reach the summit after 10 hours. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said the victory of Cabo de CF, the Spanish team in the second division, in its first match, foretells more wins. He praised the team for its outstanding level in the first game and expressed hope that they will continue to have strong performances in light of the advanced capabilities of the players. He said the name of Bahrain has become prominent in many sporting events, including football. He noted that the Paris FC team plays in the French League and the Kabuda club in the Spanish League, which makes Bahrain a focus of immense attention in light of the high viewership of the French and Spanish leagues. His Highness added that Bahraini management at Kadoba at CF has embarked on many positive steps in the technical and administrative aspects and has developed an ambitious strategy that will help the team accomplish several achievements. Cordoba played the first match of the season against Loca de Bativa and won by a single goal scored by striker Federico Piavacci in the fourth minute. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, addressed a virtual forum via Zoom application under the theme of Zaid's ambitious mission. UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Nayan, also took part in the virtual session. The UAE Embassy in Bahrain organised the event along with the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Centre and the National Space Science Authority, the NSSA, with the participation of more than 300 people remotely. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the UAE landmark achievements, which represents a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations and encourages youth to get interested in space exploration. He commended the solid relations binding the two brotherly countries and people looking forward to bolstering joint cooperation in the sector of space sciences and for the UAE expertise which yielded a number of projects. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stressed the importance of the Arabian Gulf region to keep abreast of global space strides and develop high sea navigation. He urged the Bahraini and GCC and Arab youth to benefit from encouraging opportunities provided by the sincere and responsible leaders in the countries in order to innovate and excel in all fields. 
UAE Ambassador to Bahrain addressed the virtual forum, welcoming the participation of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in the session, along with Emirati astronauts, stressing the keenness of the UAE leadership to inspire and motivate the youth to embark in space exploration. اليوم انا سعيد جدا طبعا اني التقي بكم يعني في هذه الجلسه الحواريه اللي اشوفها يعني جدا مميزه ونتطلع باذن الله عن كثب يعني انجازات هذه للسامعين معانا طبعا ما شاء الله عندنا فوق ال 300 مشارك انه يسمعون انجازات اشقائنا في دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده في مجال الفضاء عموما وارتياد الفضاء على وجه الخصوص بالذات يعني الانجازات الكبيره والمميزه يعني الحقيقة من حيث أهميتها وحجم تأثيرها على التقدم العلمي فهذه يعني الإنجازات هي فخر ترى للأمتين العربية والإسلامية تفتح لنا أفاق المستقبل أنتوا يعني ترجعون ماضينا ترجعون تاريخنا يمكن إحنا متقدمين في العلم والتقدم والفنون وغيرها اليوم نثبت للعالم أن أحن أبناء هذولاك المؤسسين ف يعني خذتوا هذه التجارب وخذتوا هذه الصعاب والين ما اصبحت قصص نجاح اشقائنا في دوله الامارات يعني في مجال الفضاء حديث المجتمعات العلميه المتخصصه وقدراتكم طبعا على تخطي الصعاب واستمراركم في تحقيق الانجازات واحد ورا الثاني يعني ترى هذا كله طبعا بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى تم اهتمام وتشجيع صاحب السمو الشيخ خليفه بن زايد ال نهيان رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة وصاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم رئيس دولة الإمارات رئيس مجلس الوزراء حاكم دبي وبسواعد شبابكم يعني الحقيقة اليوم أنا أفتخر ولا أبغي أطول ولكن لازم تعرفون أن سيدي جلالة الملك اهتمامه في شبابنا وطاقاتنا وسواعد الشباب اليوم اللي ترتكز البلدان على عليها في كل كلمة في كل كلمة يلقيها جلالة الملك يذكر هذا يعني وخاصة اخيرا في كلمته الاخيره اللي هي القى خطابه السامي خلال افتتاح دور العقاد الثالث مفصل تشريعي الخامس مجلس الشورى والنواب دائما كان يذكر بضروره السعي يعني اكتساب وامتلاك معارف وتقنيات المستقبل اليوم احنا انتسابق مع التطورات وانتسابق مع العلم فانتم خير مثال انا ما ابغي اطول عليكم الحقيقه لان لو بتخلوني انا باخذ هالجلسه هذه كلها بس اولا مدحا فيكم وثانيا اشرح لكم كيف اهميه اليوم دعم وتشجيع شبابنا، فانتم اليوم خصصنا لكم اكثر من 300 شاب وشابه طموحين موجودين معنا في هذه الجلسه وانا افخر اني اكون واحد من هالشباب اللي يستمعون لكم أه والشيخ سلطان انت الشكر لك الحقيقه اللي يعني جمعت لنا هالابطال وخليتنا نتشرف بشوفهم ونسمع منهم تجربتهم الله يطول عمرك. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, stressed the importance of intensifying legislative efforts to implement decrees and draft laws referred to the Council during the third session of the fifth legislative term. He highlighted the Council's keenness to cooperate and integrate with the efforts of the government to overcome the challenges facing the Kingdom and the countries of the world as a result of the spread of the coronavirus and its economic repercussions. 
This came during a meeting which was attended by the first deputy chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohamed Fakhro, and the chairman of the council standing committees. Al-Sali congratulated them for being recommended to chair the standing committees during the third session of the fifth legislative term, stressing that national responsibility requires everyone to double their efforts to keep pace with the requirements of the current phase, the most important of which is the approval of the draft of the state's general budget for the years 2021 to 2022, in addition to law decrees referred to the council and issued during the legislative vacation. The Council reviewed the proposal to form a temporary committee concerned with food security affairs, as well as a list of draft laws and proposals for laws that are still under study by the Council's committees, as well as the reports of delegations of the Parliamentary Division. Meetings were held between Bahraini officials and delegations from the United States of America, led by US Secretary of Treasury Stephen Mnuchin, and the State of Israel, led by Israeli National Security Advisor Meir Ben Shabbat, Bahrain and the State of Israel signed a historic joint communique on the establishment of diplomatic, peaceful and friendly relations, marking the new and promising era in the relationship. Memorandums of understanding were signed regarding economic and trade relations, telecommunications, commerce, air services, movement of people, banking and financial services and cooperation between ministries of foreign affairs, as well as other areas of mutual benefit. In addition, working groups met to discuss a wide range of additional areas for potential cooperation, including aviation, healthcare, technology, tourism and agriculture, and to plan the bilateral relationship. This historic diplomatic breakthrough has been facilitated by the Abraham Accords initiative of the US President Donald Trump. The initiative emphasised the establishment of relations between two vital countries in the Middle East will help achieve a more secure and prosperous future for the two countries' people and the region. The Abraham Accords follows the 11th of September 2020 agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel to open an era of cooperation between the two nations, following the telephone call held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, during which they affirmed the importance of opening a new chapter of cooperation between the two countries. This diplomatic step was followed by the signing of the peace declaration between both countries in Washington on the 15th of September 2020 to endorse the principles of the Abraham Accords and to open a new chapter of peace. The joint statement issued today affirmed that this chapter is a continuation of determined regional and international efforts to advance peace in the Middle East and is a testament to the bold vision and leadership exhibited by the three countries to innovate in diplomacy for sustainable peace and prosperity. The three countries face a range of independent challenges and will mutually benefit from today's historic milestone. Today's historic signing brings together two of America's friends and partners in the Middle East. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel will join with the United States to advance the strategic agenda for peace and prosperity in the Middle East and expand avenues for cooperation that are anchored within shared values and interests. The three nations are aligned in their views on the challenges, threats and opportunities present in the region. Through closer security cooperation, public diplomacy and engagement on the economy, technology and other shared interests, including the promotion of coexistence, people-to-people -people engagement and a culture of peace. Today's agreements will lead to better lives for the people of Bahrain and Israel. The parties will continue to efforts to achieve a just, comprehensive and enduring resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel trust that this development will contribute to a future in which all peoples and all faiths can live together in the spirit of cooperation and enjoy peace and prosperity, where states are focused on shared interests and building a better future. The United States and the State of Israel expressed appreciation to Bahrain for hosting the historic Prosperity for Peace workshop in Manama in June 2019, which was a step towards achieving more cooperation in different fields. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel expressed a deep appreciation to the United States of America in securing a more stable, secure and prosperous Middle East. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, received Israeli National Security Advisor Mir Ben Shabbat on a visit with a delegation to the Kingdom. He said that the declaration to support peace with Israel and the signing of a memoranda of understanding established a fruitful cooperation between Bahrain and Israel 
that contributes to consolidating the foundations of peace in the region in accordance with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. These visions aim to promote the peace process towards more positive prospects, starting with preserving the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people in accordance with the legal international resolutions. Al Ziani said that achieving peace would be reflected in fulfilling the aspirations of the countries and peoples of the region for stability, peace, building and development. The minister highlighted the significance of this Israeli declaration's visit to the kingdom and its positive outcomes that contribute towards building a wide range of ties between the two countries. He pointed out Bahrain's interest in strengthening bilateral cooperation in a manner that meets common aspirations and reflects positively on the future of the peace process in the region and enhances stability. Ben Shabbat said that the success of the visit would be positively reflected in the future of relations between Bahrain and Israel in terms of continuing coordination between them and contributing to strengthening the peace process in the region in a way that serves the aspirations of its states and peoples for process and prosperity. He lauded Bahrain's vision for peace in the Middle East and its keenness on enhancing stability and security in the region. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the US Secretary of Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin, and his accompanying delegation. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the distinguished strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the USA and the growing cooperation at all levels. He stressed the importance of continuing to boost bilateral relations to achieve the aspirations of the two friendly countries and peoples. He pointed out the keenness of the Kingdom to bolster cooperation with the USA by building on previous achievements. The Minister of Finance and National Economy welcomed the US Secretary of Treasury and his accompanying delegation and reviewed relations of friendship between both countries and the perpetual growth in all fields. He also discussed ways of bolstering bilateral relations, mainly in the financial and economic fields. The US Treasury Secretary expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Finance and National Economy, stressing his country's keenness on promoting cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain and lauding the Kingdom's e role in the economics of the region. The Housing Ministry has distributed the second batch of housing units in East Hid. This came in implementation of an order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units and within the framework of the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, regarding the construction of 40,000 housing units. Housing Minister Abbasan bin Yaqub Al Hamar said that the completion of the distribution coincides with the completion of the construction work and the infrastructure for this phase after the Ministry had previously distributed the units in the first batch, explaining that the units of this neighbourhood include 740 housing units. The Chief Executive of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Usama Alabsi, hailed the decision of the General Prosecutor, Dr Ali bin Fadl Abu Ainin, to establish a trafficking in persons prosecution. Alabsi expressed the National Committee's support of this decision and its readiness to cooperate with the prosecution in all that supports its efforts and helping victims of this crime. He noted that this prosecution represents a new achievement added to the Kingdom's series of pioneering achievements in combating this crime and that it will contribute to granting the efforts to combat this crime a solid legal impetus and investigate its cases in all its forms in accordance with Law No. 1 of 2008 regarding combating trafficking in persons and related laws. Alabsi also added that this decision proves that Bahrain will always develop its capabilities, work environments and combating this crime. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,281 with 479 recoveries, 331 registered new cases and three deaths. 112 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 213 are contacts of active cases and six are travel related. The deceased were 96, 74 and 67 year old female citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urged everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.